A mass M makes an elastic collision with the end of a horizontal rod having fallen through a height H. When it comes in contact with the rod, it will have a downwards velocity V, which we can find to be the square root of 2GH by using Suvat equations of motion or conservation of energy. After the collision, the windmill will now turn with angular velocity omega, and the mass will rebound with a velocity u in the vertical direction, since the impulse on it is vertical, which we assume to be in the upwards direction. We can conserve energy, considering all the potential energy of the ball when it is at a height h, to be converted to the angular kinetic energy of the rod and the linear kinetic energy of the ball afterwards. We can also conserve angular momentum about the axle, since we know that the ball comes in contact at distance L from the axle. Once we have substituted in our expression for the moment of inertia of the rod, we will obtain two equations with two unknowns, u and omega. By making u the subject of one of the equations and substituting this into the second equation, we can find omega.